did a lot of reporting on the Michael Jackson case. What was that time like? Well, it was the same time. Michael Jackson was the same time as O.J. Simpson. So it was rough. It was not easy. I guess people thought, does anybody on TV but Flo Anthony? One, <laughs> but one time I saw, um, oh gosh, what's, what's the, um, um, George Lopez. I was just looking at TV one morning and he said, oh, you should be like Flo Anthony. She's on everything. <laughs> pop up like, he said, pop up like Flo Anthony. I said, oh my God, now I'm the brunt of jokes. Uh, <laughs> but, um, I've known the Jacksons a long time. I met Latoya, Michael, Janet, and Randy in 1977 at Disney World. Wow. And they were in line just like us. And I was just getting out of college and I was working uh, with these young kids at a group home. And so I came up with this bright idea to take them to Disney World. So we got the local car dealership to give us a van and we actually camped at the Yogi Berra camping grounds. So we were at Disneyland and this one kid said, Flo, that's Michael Jackson. Now, you know, they already crazy kids. I'm like, I'm trying to get the money. Get I said, that's not any Michael Jackson. She goes, Flo. This is Michael Jackson. I turned around and said, oh my God, it is Michael Jackson. So I said, everybody be calm and let me see if we could get a picture or something. And they were very nice. And I was friends ever since. What was Michael like back in those days? We're talking about 42 years ago. He was always very nice and this horrible jokester, prank caller. Latoya too, they are prank callers from... It's unbelievable. In fact, uh, Steve Manning, he's done publicity through them for the years, one of my best friends. Uh, he was the president of the Michael Jackson fan club. He got the job because Suzanne DePass and his cousins were best friends and they needed somebody to open the fan mail. So he would go back and forth from New York to Havenhurst. And Latoya told me all the pranks that Michael played on him. She said, we don't know why he kept coming back. And they would play pranks on Michael because Michael had this real thing for Fred Astaire. Mm -hmm. And one time Latoya said they called from another number and made up. They said, this is Fred Astaire's assistant and he's coming over for dinner. Michael said, oh yeah, he is. I had the cook prepare all this stuff and he was just, and no Fred Astaire came. <laughs> That's just the kind of jokes he played, toy plays, you know. That's just, that's just the kind of guy he was. Always just a very fun, nice guy.